Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kiran Pedi, Consultant Gastroenterologist and IBD Specialist at Ashwada Hospital Somajiguda. Every year, 19th of May is celebrated as World IBD Day across the globe. Every year, a World IBD Day is celebrated with a particular theme. And the theme for this year is IBD has no borders, breaking taboos and let's talk about it. That's the theme for the year 2025. What exactly it means? Every time patients are suffering from diarrhea, rectal bleeding, they're usually hesitant to discuss their symptoms with family, friends or doctors and some other patients. This will lead to a delay in diagnosis and a delay in diagnosis will lead to delay in treatment. Unnecessarily patients will be running into complications. So let's avoid this stigmata of not discussing your colorectal symptoms. At the end of the day, it's all science and medical problem. So be open enough to discuss all your symptoms so that an early diagnosis can be made so that you will be put on right treatment at the right time. So what exactly is inflammatory bowel disease? It consists of two conditions, both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease are increasingly becoming common across the globe and in particular countries like India. India is seeing second highest incidence across the globe because of the lifestyle changes, because of the microbiome changes, dietary changes and lots of other factors. So, patient may have abdominal pain, unexplained abdominal pain, loss of weight and uh, rectal bleeding, that's bloody diarrhea or normal diarrhea. If these symptoms can go unnoticed, the diagnosis will be delayed. So, how do we diagnose in time? Patient may require colonoscopy, endoscopy, a CT scan and a blood test. When you do colonoscopy, we take biopsies from ulcers, send for histopathology, thereby we can diagnose the condition. So once the patient is diagnosed with IBD, it's going to be a kind of medium to long term treatment. So it's very important to be in touch with your doctors regularly and take your medication on time, be investigated on a regular basis. So nowadays we got lots of options for treatments for IBD. The simple molecules like 5-ASA compounds or azathioprine, biologic injections, small molecules. And in addition to these, sometimes we run clinical trials where Patient get a, a fantastic opportunity to expose to newer medication, modern medication, which are safer, more effective, and that comes free of cost. So be open with your symptoms, be ready to be investigated, and be compliant with the medication by taking medication regularly. And working together, we all can win over the disease. Thank you.